Greetings and welcome. It's head over feet for Booch for Snooch, J Prize, and of course you. But before anybody goes bearing any unconditional things. I hope you don't mind if I take just a moment to thank the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club, Greg Gonzalez, Steve H., and Jerry. Folks, thank you very, 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 very much for your support. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, will be in the description. The verse is only four chords, and you can do it one of two ways, which either equals eight, two, or one half, depending on if we're talking about multiplication or division, and if division, which one the numerator is. Anyways, C, G, A minor, F. That's it. C, G, A minor, F. That's the first way. If you want to be super authentic to the guitarist on record, what you're going to do is follow my logic. Baby F, right? G, A, B, C. Baby F shaped C is on frets 8, 9, and 10. Down to G on frets 3, 4, and 5. We need A minor, so up two frets, and we're going to get rid of the middle finger and let the pointer finger take over the G string. So this is 5, 5, 5, 7. And of course, F is right where you think of it as. One advantage to doing it this way is you'll hear this happen in later verses. A little F sus4. On that G string with your pinky finger. That's way number two. And that's the verse, we're on to the chorus, which means we're already done with half the song. The chorus is D, B minor, G, A. That's the first line. The second line is D, B minor, but now B flat starts on the A string, one, three, 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 and then we're going to A suspended four. So however you play A, one finger or three, but the B string is the third fret, not the second fret. Second line, D, B minor, B flat, A sus four. Third line is the same as the first line, G, A, then the end is F, C, it's all your fault, G. And those are all of the pieces, so use those ear balls of yours and figure out which one goes where when, but I do want to point out something really neat that happens musically in this song, which means it's time for another edition of... What's the Lesson Here? Starring Miss Poopadoo! <laughs> Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me. Here we have the verse chord progression, C, G, A minor, and F, which I've taken the liberty of listing out the chords in the key of C. You can see is a one, five, six, four <laughs> chord progression in the key of C. And the chord progression for the first line of the chorus, D, B minor, G, A, which you can see isn't in the key of C, because D is supposed to be minor, B is not so well, B is supposed to be diminished, I just put, didn't put it there. G is there, but A is... It's in the key of D. It's a one, six, four, five chord progression. So what Miss Morissette has accomplished here is the often misused and abused whole step up key change. D is one whole step higher than C. The key of D is every single chord in the key of D is one whole step higher than every single chord in the key of C. And you'll run into this technique in cheesy ballads when they're going to play the chorus for the 37th time and they, they want to make it even more dramatic and cheesy so they bump the whole thing up a whole step and just keep going as if we have all day. But Alanis Morissette did it in such a way that you wouldn't even notice unless you took the time to write it out and that is good writing. I guess that's all she has to say about that. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here. I hope that was fun and helpful and I'll see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.